Okay, some new numbers now to look at. According to our latest exclusive KTNV Rasmussen poll, Nevada's Nevadans rather seem to be leaning in favor of legalizing recreational marijuana. Let's put the latest numbers up right now. 50% say they'd be in favor of it. 41% are opposed. 9% are undecided. So let's get right to uh, 13 Action News political expert John Ralston, who talked with a former presidential drug policy advisor uh, today who's not really sold on this. Uh, that's an understatement. Kevin Sabat, who, as you mentioned, used to work in the president's White House Drug Policy uh, uh, Control Center. He is saying that, nah, it's not that marijuana is a gateway drug. The war on drug has failed. He is worried about big marijuana becoming big tobacco, targeting kids, getting kids addicted. But he did portray marijuana as somewhat scarier than alcohol. So I asked him a question about that, and here's what happened. Well, yeah, because first of all, when you drink the alcohol, it's affecting your liver in an acute way. And when you smoke marijuana, it's affecting your lungs in an acute way. There are, di there, there are differences. That's not what I mean, though. Okay, you, you mean harmful. No, you're, no, you're a doctor, no, 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 no. Well, a different kind of doctor. Well, I've studied you're the a neuroscience. PhD, yeah, not a right. doctor. Well, I've studied the neuroscience, and I, well, listen, I listen to the top doctors. Look, at, read the Journal of the American Medical mm -hmm. Association, the position of the AMA, every major medical association in this country, the World Health Organization. It's very clear that today's marijuana is not the marijuana that you might have or others might have used. Yeah, he's right about that. It's changed. Science has changed it, right? And, and, and so he is not really making the argument that you would expect someone like that to make. He is just saying, don't let the corporations come in and target kids. So he's doing more from the business exactly, aspect. Exactly, yeah. What about the, the, the people who uh, are concerned about public safety? I mean, um, one person might argue, okay, you can do whatever you want. It's you. But uh, when you get messed up and hurt my family, hurt myself, you know, that's a different kind of issue as yeah, well. Yeah, he mentioned that, and he mentioned what, that, that there have been a few cases of that in Colorado. Colorado, where, where it was one of the four states where marijuana is legal, the experience has been mixed, Steve. They have raised some money, but there have been some problems. There's some controversial data about teen use and, and whether it's up or down, but that is really the angle. He's saying they want, they're advertising pot gummy bears and pot cookies. Right. Those, those are not for adults. By the way, the initiative here in Nevada is only for 21 and over, would, not, would essentially theoretically prohibit youngsters from getting a hold of it as if they're not now. And the proposal is uh, to, to essentially treat legalized marijuana for recreational purposes like alcohol, the in tax structure. And that, that's exactly right. They're creating it. In fact, they cooperated with the alcohol industry because they didn't want the alcohol industry opposing them. So uh, that's what they're trying to do, but it's highly unlikely uh, that people are going to buy that argument. I think uh, at being at 50%, it's winning, but it's got to be higher than that to, to, to win because the campaign is coming. And uh, we'll, we'll follow that very closely. That we will. Right. Thanks, John.